Well, you give me just five minutes of your time to think about eternity. Five minutes of your life to think about death. I trust you will. Let me introduce you to a man. His name is Paul. Paul the Apostle. We read his story in the New Testament and in a book called Philippians, chapter 1 and verse 21, Paul says this, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Three things. Firstly, the striking description. The striking description. Do you see Paul's perspective of death? Paul says, to die is gain. The general view of death is loss. Paul says gain. The general view of death is something bad. Paul says something good. The general view of death is a tragedy. Paul says a triumph. The general view of death is something to be feared. Paul says something to be welcomed. But more, the general view of death is clouded by confusion. People speak of death as the, the great unknown. But Paul's view of death is characterised by certainty. He doesn't say, I think. He doesn't say, I hope. He doesn't say, I expect. Rather, he says, to die is gain. Paul's striking description. Secondly, the strong connection. Paul's statement is in two parts. And the second not only follows the first part, the second flows from the first part. Paul says, for to me to live is Christ. And because of that, as a consequence, as a result, to die is gain. Death would be gain for Paul because in life he had come to know Christ. In life Christ had come to Paul and in death Paul would go to Christ. For years he had served him and ahead was the prospect of seeing him. You would know that some people live for money. For to me to live is money, they would say. And to die? Well, death means that they leave what they lived for all behind. Some people live for fame. For to me to live is fame. And to die? Well, death means that their name is soon forgotten. Some people live for pleasure. For me to live is pleasure. And to die? Well, death means all that they lived for comes to an end. To live for all these sorts of things means that death brings loss. But to live for Christ means that death brings gain. What all this means is this. If we want death to bring gain, not loss, glory, not gloom, heaven, not hell, endless blessing, not endless banishment, we need to have Christ. Paul is clear on this point. Elsewhere he says, there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And if you think that's only the view of Paul, here is Peter. None other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. And if you think that's the, the views of mere men, only the views of mere men, here's the Lord Jesus himself. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No other mediator, no other name, no other way. Well, we've thought about this striking description, death is gain. We, we've seen this strong connection. If and only if Christ is in our life, will death be gain? Thirdly, and finally, a solemn question. A question for me and a question for you. Life is passing. The day of our death is approaching. What will death mean for us? Said John Wesley, the great preacher of a past century, said John Wesley of the Christians amongst whom he worked, our people die well. Our people die well. It's possible to die well. It's possible for death to bring gain. It could mean gain, but it will only mean gain 
for us if in life we have come to know Christ. And so may you take him, may you trust him to be your saviour.